Shavu Atov, Agutevoch. I want to tell story 96 of the Shibchei of Baal Shem Tov, the oldest anthology ever published of Baal Shem Tov stories. The title of this story is Gilgulei Neshamos Vedag Ubekelev. This is the um, reincarnation of the souls in the form of a fish and in a, a dog version 1. And it's called version 1 because much later in the book, story number 228, has another version of this story or perhaps is just a very similar story. The author, of Dover of Linitz, says, I heard from the Rav of the community of Polnoi, meaning Rav Yaakov Yosef of Polnoi, and from the Rav of our community, meaning Rav Gedalia of Linitz. This is his two sources. That Rav Nachman of Kosov had a relative, and uh, his name was Rav Yudel of Chudnov. And this Rav Yudel, Yehuda, Rav Yudel, his father was or had been Rav Yosef the Mochiach, I guess the Mochiach of the town of Chudnov. Mochiach is a rabbi whose job is to uh, pull the ears of the community with Musar, with, with uh, moralistic teachings, correcting them, put them in their place. So this Rabbi Yudel, his, uh, his way in life was not to live from the favors of other people, but rather to work out of, to live out of his own work and his own efforts. He was an um, iron ore merchant. He would go to the mines where they clean the the metal just extracted from the mine and take it to the places where they would work it out to melt it, etc. And that was his job, buy it here, sell it there. Once he went to a Rutnia. What's a Rutnia? A mine, like a little mining town where they do this whole operation of extracting the, the um, iron and cleaning the ore. And around you have the, the houses of the um, miners and the, the ones who direct the job and the owner, the tiny little mining town. And Rabbi Yudel goes to that place and wants to spend Shabbos, Shabbat in that place. <coughs> the owner said, but what are you going to eat? I don't have fish and you're not going to eat the meat here because the knife with the, with the shechita was not checked. The Jews that lived in a mining town were not the most uh, educated and religious ones. They, they uh, didn't have a shoichet, uh, didn't check on the knife or they do the shechita. They were, they were uh, average, I would guess, for the time, religious Jews, but not not specially observant. They know this Hasidic rabbi is not going to eat from their from their meat. Okay, so what does the owner say? I know you're not going to eat here. I would advise you to go to another mining town near here. And the owner is a wealthy man, and he surely will have plenty of fish, and he has a shoichet and premise, so he can prepare the meat for you, and you can have a nice Shabbos over there. So, Rav Yudel decided to listen and go to that other town. So he's going on his cart, and when he's near the town, there is a small brook of water, a small water stream, that he normally would cross over, no problem. But, um, you know, it was not a deep uh, uh, brook. But now it was either after the rainy se season or it was when the um, snow is melting in the mountains and it had become much deeper. He was just not aware of it. So as he's going, a dog appears from somewhere and runs into the into the stream and and goes into the water and this dog goes up and down and starts holding and, and the last hole he's drowning the Chosid realizes Rabiel realizes oh my gosh he starts crying this dog just died to show me <laughs> I, I don't go into the water it's deep so he stopped and went back to that um, to the town the, where, the, where he came from um, now with tears in his eyes for seeing this, this dog drowning 
he goes back to the town and tells the owner, I'm going to spend Shabbat here, I'm going to spend Shabbat here, and uh, please prepare some fish for Shabbat, manage to get some fish. So the owner asks the, the town hunters to go and get some fish. They go and to, the, to a river or whatever, and they catch a big fish. Uh, one of the fish that are called the Hecht. This is the, the Yiddish name for this fish. It's a type of uh, pike fish that grows in, uh, in um, uh, rivers and, and lakes in Eastern Europe. It's quite big. And in some Svarim, in some books, it's mentioned that the, the Gedoilim among the, the Hasidim um, like especially that fish for, for Shabbos. There were some Indian, some special aspect of that fish that was special for Shabbos. And so um, they bring this fish and the owner of the, of the mine says, I hear, I've been here for many years and I have never seen such a fish. And they prepared for Rav Yudl several dishes out of this fish, several, you know, a variety of different dishes. So he, he spends uh, Shabbat in that town. And as he's sitting at the table for the seuda, for the meal, singing the midos, singing the songs for Shabbos, suddenly he feels very tired and he falls asleep at the table. And in a dream, his father appears to him. Rav Yosef, the Mochiach of Chudnov. And his father reveals to him, you should know that it is me who reincarnated in that fish. I am, the, my Gilgul is that fish. That's what we call the reincarnation. And there was a Moiser, a traitor, that I fought against during my life. And he came back as a dog. A Moiser is somebody who betrays Jews by taking them into non-Jewish authorities or non-Jewish court, knowing that they will be in a, you know, a terrible disadvantage. They will not be treated fairly and they will suffer and creating that that problem that even if the the Jewish the Jew has merit in the case it will be ignored by, by a court that, and you bring them to such a court that is betraying the essence of Torah that man is called a Moiser and Rab, uh, uh, Yosef the the, um, uh, the Mochiach his job was to go after such people and correct them, put them in their place. So the man that he went after for doing such a thing came back as a dog. And what is he revealing in the dream? He says, the dog that, that died, that was the tikkun for what was decided in heaven for you. Meaning that in heaven that they had decided that Rav Yudel was going to die. That's what he was going to go into a, a, a brook that he didn't realize it was too big. And the dog changed it. The dog goes in and dies and shows him. So that was the tikkun. And then the Mochiach says to his son Rav Yudel, you did a tikkun for me with the tears that came out of your eyes when you saw that dog drowning. So today, my son, be very careful how you eat that fish. Later, Rav Yudel went to the Baal Shem Tov, and the Baal Shem Tov told him that indeed that was the case about the Gilgulim and the Tikkun. Furthermore, the Baal Shem Tov revealed to him that he, Yehuda, Rav Yudel, was the Gilgul of Shmuel Hanabi the prophet Samuel. It is explained in the books of Kabbalah that Sadiqim come back, reincarnate as fish, when there is something they still need to be corrected for that fish to be eaten in Shabbos. There is a, a whole Indian about it, but when we eat that fish in Shabbos, we are returning that holy soul and elevating the sparks in it so it's a very special thing and that's what the uh, Rav Yudl according to the Baal Shem Tov, the Gilgul of Shmuel Hanavi was doing 
This week is a very special week. Sunday night, Monday, is Chai Elul, the 18th of Elul, which is the birthday of the Baal Shem Tov, as well as the Alter Rebbe. So, um, all the blessings of this special day coming. Please keep coming back. I am translating all the stories of the, of the Shibchi Abel Shem Tov one by one um, into English and Spanish every week here on YouTube, as well as working on the, trans the written translation with the hopes to edit the book in Spanish for the very first time. Um, I appreciate all contributions. See links below or the thanks button. Shavua Tov. A good day,